Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at the latest limited special release from Dogfish Head. They seem to come out with one of these every every other month or so. This is their Ur Continent, which is an 8%. Belgian style double that they collaboratively brewed with Google, believe it or not, you know, the web search people. Um, they, Google basically set up a web page where people could suggest various ingredients that they wanted to actually build into a beer, and that's kind of the collaborative effort they did. And they came up with some crazy stuff, and believe me, it is crazy. All of this stuff, I had to look up on Wikipedia to actually even know what it is. It's a double brewed with wattle seed. Amaranth, Rubios, Mercia Gale, and Honey. And I believe the Honey is actually, um, they call it Google Honey. Google has a, a, a farm locally, and that Honey was actually sourced um, from them. So a Belgian double is a hard thing to do a lot with. Not a whole lot of breweries do them because they are so plain and kind of, you know, unsexy. But I'm really curious to see what Dogfish Head could do with it. So let me get this one into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on Dogfish Head slash Google's Ur Continent. All right guys, so the appearance on the Ur Continent, uh, it poured exactly how I would expect it double two. It's kind of this dank, muddy, murky looking beer. You can't really see any light through it. Um, brown in the actual color. There's a bit of like a tinge of like a blood red on the actual curves of the glass where the light's hitting it. There was a nice, I don't know, maybe quarter finger of an off-white head that's dissipating really quickly, leaving some really, really tiny effervescent bubbles in the middle there. A decent amount of head lacing, a little bit of alcohol legs on there, but it's really what I would expect in a, in a classic looking double. All right, the aroma on the o continent. Yeah, again, more classic kind of double flavors and getting a slight dark fruit, a fig, um, like, a, a, like a chocolate raisin in there. There's a little bit of a chocolate malt coming through in this one. Um, a touch of like a dark chocolate and maybe even a little bit of coffee, which is actually really interesting. Getting a sweetness, like a cordial cherry type of sweetness. Uh, might be from a honey. There's kind of a nuttiness coming through, almost like a, like a peanut or something like that. Nice kind of breadiness, nice kind of spicy kind of ester from the yeast. It's a really, really interesting smelling double. All right, the taste on the ear continent. Cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice kind of sweetness. Um, again, it tastes more like that honey kind of sweetness, a syrupy type of sweetness, a little bit of a bitterness, like from a chocolate malt or a, um, a dark chocolate, a coffee type of bitterness in there. Middle of the mouth, Big, big bready character, big kind of yeasty mouthfeel to this one, really kind of coats the top of the mouth, um, flavor sticking around. I'm getting more of the dark fruit, figs, raisins, more of that kind of cordial uh, cherry flavor, a little bit more of that nuttiness kind of coming through, um, a touch of a, a roasted kind of grain in there as well, mixing with that chocolate at the front of the tongue with the cherry kind of flavor. It's a really, really cool tasting beer. Definitely some sweetness to it. You don't get a whole lot of you know overly sweet doubles, but this one definitely has a nice kind of sweetness to it. A pretty dry finish on it, actually. Aftertaste, more of that sweetness, a grainy um, kind of dark fruit, more of that almost a nutty type of flavor. It's got to be from one of the, the ingredients in this one. It's a really, really interesting take on a double. On an 8%, you actually don't taste that at all. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Ur Continent, 8% alcohol by volume, limited time availability. If you guys can get their other 750 stuff, you're going to be able to get this one. I'm going to give this one a B plus. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. I really like a good double. I think I'm one of the only people who really looks for doubles. Uh, so when I see somebody doing something interesting with one, my interest is peaked because not too many people do. Dogfish Head could have gone crazy with this, but they didn't. They picked all these crazy you know, ingredients, but the ingredients really work with the actual style themselves. Adding a bit of chocolate malt in there, bringing kind of a stout character to it, but kind of bringing it back with more of the dark fruit flavors, that slight nuttiness, that really nice kind of grainy, kind of chocolatey taste in there. Really, really easy to drink at 8%. It's a really, really solid Belgian double. There's a nice ye Belgian yeast character to it that really shines through. Really good stuff. And if you guys like the style, I definitely re recommend checking this out. Really another good one for Dogfish Head. They've uh, been on a roll lately. So with that said, getting a B plus from me. And remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.